What's up, America? You know what time it is. It's five o'clock. It's time for the most exhilarating, most watched cookie show out there right now with my two good friends that need no introductions. You know them. You love them. Chef Greg. Woohoo! Cheers, buddy. Hey, cheers, friend. How's everybody doing out there? This is After Hours, brought to you by Rec Tech Grills. Welcome, welcome to the worldwide headquarters of Rec Tech, right here in beautiful Evans, Georgia. We're live. We're actually still on the surface of the sun. It is very, it's very hot. It's very muggy. humid, muggy. We got uh, work going on beyond us, uh, down yonder way. Uh, we're about to close up shop here. And that's when, you know, everybody, you know, we're wrapping up phone calls. We're about to go home. So that's why we call it after hours. Or throw disc golf. Or throw disc golf, you know, or go, you know, turn your grill on to 420 and smoke some stuff. Um, you can smoke that salt overnight. Ooh. That's Probably would bump that temp down to like 200, though. Yeah. <laughs> 240. You know, it's, a, it's, it's opposite. But uh, my name is Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad, your rec tech expert. With me, as always, is... Chef Greg Muller, your Director of Culinary Innovation. And you can't forget the man behind the cameras, the one mixing it up on the ones and twos, none other than Chef face, John himself. John. Let me see that beautiful face. Oh, they oh saw man. It. They, they saw it? Face. Okay, good. You know what? I call shenanigans on that second place smile, though. I think Hopkins... Oh, yeah. I, th I think he, he called Thank in some guys. friends. He might Six? have, like, thousand votes. How, many, how much it makes, how good it makes me feel that y'all had my back. <laughs> On this, six thousand you know, because somebody cheated. Somebody that was no. Cheated. That's no second place smile. Yeah. Right. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, we had a uh, inner office smile contest, mm -hmm. and John came up second out of two people. Yeah. Uh, but so. you can't even count. Can't even yeah. count Hopkins. Yeah. He's like half day Hopkins. He's only here like two days that's a week, couple hours a day. Hopkins. I like that. Half day Hopkins. Half day Hopkins. <laughs> <laughs> but we're having fun out here, guys. Smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. We do this every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you ring that bell, subscribe to that channel, and watch the next video because they're all awesome. That's why tonight we're going to do something that we actually invented oh. three we, to four we, years we ago. We did this recipe a solid three years ago. Absolutely. Dirty queso. Dirty queso, a.k.a. smoked queso. Jody, is this like the Daytona wings? No, we, yeah, yeah, this yeah, like it's that? even worse. <laughs> it's even worse than that I mean, situation. The original Dirty Queso had pulled pork brisket, had bacon lardon in it. It was delicious. It was fantastic. And then they dumbed it down, and then it becomes uh, a hit on the internet, you know, a couple of weeks ago. It's crazy. But we invented this. We will take that claim. Shoot uh, you. We have the video proof. Absolutely. We just didn't call it smoked queso. There is the timestamp. It lives forever. Right, Greg? In internet right. online infamy. So uh, tell, tell, our, tell our folks all about the smoked queso. What does it entail? Um, it's super easy. Okay. It's probably stuff you have in the pantry. Um, and it uses a lot of leftovers. So we're going to put some uh, chorizo in here. We might even put some brisket in there. Uh, but it's oh. really simple. We're going to take, we're going to use, now we're not going to use Velveeta cheese. What? We're not Why using not? Velveeta cheese because it's not the right cheese to Greg, use. It's delicious. You know what? Those other companies can use that trash cheese. Right. Okay. Shout I out mean, Velveeta. They begin with a T. So <laughs> we'll call we'll call a spade a spade. We're using white American cheese because that's Shout how we out. roll around here. Shout out. With that American. red, white, and blue. American. That's how we roll around here. These colors do not run, everyone. They do not run. <laughs> We're also using some sharp cheddar. Give us some uh, nice acidity there. A little Colby Jack cheese for some nice stretch. We're going to put in some cream of mushroom soup. Why? Why? Because it's going to give... This is your favorite thing. It's going to marry everything together. God, he didn't even have to look to know what I was going to no, say. No, We're no. going to take a little uh, cantina-style salsa. You can use fresh pico de gallo. Some folks or like to use uh, that, that milk, though, as well. You can if you want. Um, the mushroom will give you a little more flavor, a little bit more body to it. Okay. Um, and then if you want to use uh, tomatoes, onions, garlic, make your own salsa. Maybe you got a garden going on. you got some stuff that's just Huge, yeah. blooming away. 
just go ahead and, and whack it up and go for it. Cool, man. So smoke queso time attempt for us. And what grill are we cooking on, Chef Greg? We're cooking on the RT700. And again, temperature, it doesn't make a huge difference. You can go low and slow 225. It'll take a little bit longer for all that stuff to melt. Right. If you're kind of impatient and you want to get this done in a half an hour, kind of like us here, uh, we're hungry guys around here. We got beer to drink and chips to eat. We're going to go 425, and that's going to take... 425, John. We're, we're close. close. 425. Close. 425. I mean, we can just knock that down. Hey! Five degrees. It could be 420. 420 today, baby. And if my phone wasn't filming right now, we could use that Rectech Grills app and just control it right there. Man, you were like five for five on the toss. Oh, I'm going to miss well, the next one. We got 420 people watching oh. right now. Oh. Oh. So smash that share button. Guys, give us a like, give us a love. Uh, share the smoked queso love with the world. For sure. You know what and I'm saying? Give a shout out to our friends at Two Gringos Chupacabra. We used uh, their brisket magic on the brisket. Well, one half of the brisket yesterday. Mm. But they also hooked it up with these fancy koozies. Cause fancy crushing the uh, silver bullet tonight, but it's staying nice and cozy in this koozie right, right here. Right, right. But cheers there, uh, Facebook uh, Recta yeah, family. Yeah, I and mean, uh, John's mm. uh, sipping on. What are you sipping on over there, John? I am Show those folks what you're sipping on. Okay, I am sipping on a uh, no jacket required. Oh. Czech style Pilsner good from stuff. Savannah River Brewing Company. Guys, go check them out. It is delicious. Now, Shout Jody, out. I'd be pretty careful if you open that uh, can with the right, pepper glove. Right. That's you're what I was going to ask you, Greg. Could you just be a doll, baby? Could you be a friend and just open that bad boy up for me? Which we don't, you don't want to do is get that pepper juice all over there, and then you go or to drink that beer. do you want to get that pepper <laughs> juice all over there? I mean, if you want to have your lips on fire, go Put right ahead. Bit, make it real Hispanic. I Throw mean, a little bit of that. If uh, you want to uh, see Jody get lit, on go it. ahead and smash that share button. We'll no, take that jalapeno no, pepper. We'll just no, kind of rub it right there. Do not smash that share button. Do not smash it. Uh, I am sipping on a delicious German Pilsner from our friends at Bitburger. Oh, they've, been, they've been hooking it up lately, yeah, son. Delicious Got a beautiful Jody. new can design. This Pilsner just is so smooth. Reminds me of just a, a summer, a cool summer evening. Well, is cheers. what this beer reminds oh, me of. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, cheers to you guys. Cheers to you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We really do appreciate it. Smash the share button. Give yourself a like, a love right now. I dare you. I dare you. We're doing smoke queso. We got brisket that we're about to cut up. That's really what you want to see. Yeah. These people don't care anything about no smoke cheese. Well, That's I want to eat the smoke brisket they, in the comments. Asked. I want to eat the smoke cheese. Good. The brisket. Good. What's the brisket? So What's the brisket will be coming just a little bit later. You don't know when. It might be at the end of the show. It might mean in just a couple of minutes we might slice into that. So you got to watch the whole time and smash that share button. But we got to get the chorizo and the onions going. Otherwise, we ain't eating smoked queso. So I've got one pound of chorizo. I've, I've taken it out of the casing and uh, just gave it a little uh, a little cook in the pan. We took it out because it was getting done a little bit a little bit fast. So that's the traditional way to cook chorizo, right, Chef Greg, is you actually take it out of the casing? Yeah, and that way it can kind of simmer in its own fat. And we did drain a little bit of the fat because it was... A little bit greasy, so but I'm not gonna lie to you. When I first started, you know, chorizo was something that I had never really even heard oh, of man. or even messed with. Really? And you, yeah, yep. I mean, he's just fully, you know, opened me up to the whole chorizo when thing. When I make uh, tacos at the house, I'll take like, you know, two pounds of ground beef and one pound of chorizo, okay. and then I, that's my taco mix. I mean, okay. I had some some love to it too, but that's kind of like the the Jody, cheat. What sausage did you use before chorizo? Uh, just, um, you know, some spicy uh, smoked sausage, uh, okay. ground sausage. And you can do that, too. Right. You know, the, the, the pre-smoked we'll sausage have a little bit more of a bite to it. It's not going to kind of melt out and, and distribute itself evenly with, amongst the queso. Right. But I love that when I make shrimp and grits. I'll use that andouille or Cajun sausage, and that way you get a nice textural difference between the vegetables and the shrimp and all that fun stuff. Ooh, okay, shrimp and grits. You know what I'm talking about. Jody. I said shrimp. We have Patrick Donovan Rump Shaker What's in up, the Pat? comment section. Patrick, we appreciate you. We actually are going to be giving away something at the end of the show. So you guys make sure you stay tuned. We'll be giving away five of something. Yeah, Whoa, five, 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 of something. five of something. That's right. We're going to be giving them away. We're just going to be giving them away. All you got to do is something super easy. You're only going to have to do one thing. Here's, but here's, I bet you already in the one comments. Thing. I bet you in the comments, people are already doing hashtag Chef John is the greatest. They better not yes, be. That's yes, bull crap. Yesterday, what? yesterday or a Tuesday's lunch break. That's Yesterday's right. lunch break. That's right. I'm going through the comments answering questions, and what do I see? Like, I don't know, at least 40 times. Hashtag Chef John is the greatest. My people have now, spoken, bro. He Get was the, the greatest right here. He was the greatest cameraman. <laughs> okay? But they were like just trying to jump on that like t shirt train. <laughs> Dude, they love it. That's funny. They we're not giving it. away t shirts. No. 
I that, that, we're going to be giving away five t-shirts at the end of this episode. <laughs> you got to stay tuned. They gave it away. All right, let's go ahead and Sounds get that stuff in there. I'll get it in there, Greg. Let me All enjoy right, me this hashtag drink of summer really quick. Drink of summer, Jody. What are you drinking, Jody? Oh, no, John, I've got a mouthful of drink. What am I drinking right now? Tell the people, Mm. drinking that delicious Dirty Girl cocktail mixer. Absolutely, available at Mm dgmixers.com. It's it's a delicious margarita mix, but it also doubles as a sour mix, John. That's right, anything that takes sour mix, Joe. Absolutely, absolutely. So I love to do my, this is my version of hashtag drink of summer. Talk to me Okay. Uh, it's a an firm, empty drink of summer. A firm base of Tito's vodka. I'm <laughs> yeah. talking firm, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Then, just a little, about a tablespoon of uh, grenadine. Okay. And then you hit it with a... It's kind of like a vodka uh, sunrise. Uh, then you hit it with a little bit of pineapple juice, and then you top it Ooh, off with the Dirty Girl juice. Sour Mix slash Margarita Mix. <laughs> Good stuff. From DGMixers.com. It's absolutely delicious. It'll put you in the right mood. I guarantee yeah, you that. I guarantee you. But... Uh, Oh man, no gimbal tonight? Let me no, see that thing. No gimbal tonight. Can we, I guess, flip it around? Oh, no, we can take it off. Okay. And you can flip it around. Shoot, yeah, let's do that. All then. right, well, Jody's and over I'll, there messing with the gimbal. No, let's just recap what we did in this brisket. This is like an right 18 to a 20 pound yeah, brisket. I didn't weigh it. Off. We picked it up, uh, our purveyor dropped it off for us. This is just a run of the mill USDA yeah. choice brisket. Nothing super fancy there. Oh. We did inject it with a little bit of love. And I say a little bit of love, it was a lot of bit of love. We're kind of backwards on the uh, camera there. We might need to take that out and read. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I got you. Um, you we injected that with Butcher's Barbecue Prime Injection and Butcher's Barbecue Prime Dust. We did do a base coat of some Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub on both sides. We hit it hard with that uh, Boar's Night Out white lightning. That stuff is amazing. And then we had kind of a poll out there. We were asking you guys if you wanted to see uh, it topped off with that Ben's Heifer Dust, the Chupacabra Brisket Magic, and the, um, oh, it's a one, zero, two, six. There you oh, go. shoot, Greg. You shouldn't have told everybody in the world <laughs> the what that was. That's the okay. Um, we, po- we topped it off with that Ben's Heifer Dust, that uh, Chupacabra Brisket Magic, and or that La, La Barbacoa uh, Cow Whisperer. You guys spoke. We did a half of it, the point side with the um, Chupacabra, and the flat side with that Ben's Heifer Dust. I might have got that backwards, but I will figure that out when we open it up. Um, we smoked it off on the RTB380 bullseye. We went hot and fast. We went 350 degrees for about three hours. You heard that right. 350 degrees for three hours. Wrapped it up. Another two and a half hours. It was probing tender. Under six hours, we had brisket. But in here, we got that pepper. We got the onion. We got the chorizo. Ooh, that would smell so good, oh, Chef Greg. Shoot, yeah. In the RT700 today, rolling right along at 420 degrees. We're going to go ahead and add that can of condensed soup. Why? Because it's delicious. Absolutely, We'll get that guys. spatula in there to uh, get it all out. Smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love, guys. We're doing smoked queso tonight. We're going to add 14 ounces of that cantina style salsa guys you can use a pico de gallo if you like and we're just gonna let that get happy a little bit and we'll actually cut up some cheese here that american cheese cheese chef greg we actually got a couple of hashtag chef greg is the greatest oh snap can we just get hashtag Rectech is the greatest? Uh, they, they, they because that. Oh, because this sure. is not a one-man show it's not a one-man <laughs> army around here it might be a seven nation army and uh jack black can is a member of the Rectech back. family but um it is definitely not a one-man show. It's a, it's a family effort around here. You gosh darn right. We got two and a half pounds. We changing sides or no? Yeah, we okay. can. We got two and a half pounds of this white American cheese. Yum. And we're so just we gonna... chose to use white American instead of the Velveeta, right, Chef Greg? Shoot, yeah. Because, I mean, that, nothing wrong with that Velveeta, but if you're going to do it, let's just make it the most bomb queso right, ever. Right, right, right. Don't skimp. No. Get the good stuff. This is going to be for your family or the... You know, this is a great tailgating recipe. This is a great recipe, heck, to do before Thanksgiving. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It gives folks a little something to eat on or munch on. There's um, never a bad time for queso. No, no. And I'm just going to try this really quick just to make sure it's good for everybody. Uh, but, guys, what is your favorite cheese? Put your favorite cheese that you like to make queso out of in the comments section down below. I'm sure there's going to be some queso blancos. Um, Better be no Limburger cheese. No That'd make bad queso. No, no. <laughs> John? He's on the ones and twos. That's right. He's going to be uh, asking us those questions. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, everything is on the table, guys. This is where we talk to you. We interact with you. This is your chance to ask us any questions that you have, get any advice. 
That's you know, right. a lot yeah. of folks ask us recipe questions, right. but they're really slipping at not asking us any life questions. That's true. Because we've been through some things. Y'all definitely, you two have well, definitely well, been well, through I mean, some don't, things. You better lump now. yourself into that one too, John. <laughs> um, but, but we've been through some things, guys. That's right. We can work you through any aspect of life. There are no questions all off the table, Jody. No, no. Like my mama said, there's no stupid questions, only stupid answers, Jody. Only stupid answers. Hmm. Yeah. That's a different way of putting it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I was always, uh, you know, in the, working in the kitchen, the new guy would always ask some pretty dumb questions. Guys, that cheese is off the chain good. But we're just going to kind of layer this stuff in there and uh, just kind of forget about it. Ooh. Let me get past you. I'll put this guy right here. There you go, John. Speaking of queso, the queso... Aficionado, aficionado did just yeah. did Man just join us. <laughs> ben, what's your favorite queso? The one you're making right now. Okay, smoked queso. That the original, the original that dirty queso. That's right. He likes uh, blanco queso. He's also a connoisseur of pimento cheese. He's a pimento cheese lover. We're also gonna hack up some sharp cheddar. Why? Because. That's how we want to live the rectech lifestyle. Now, uh, instead of sharp cheddar, you know, you could use some Gouda. You, you could. can use some delicious Havarti. You can use, uh, Greg, hit me with something cool. Go. I mean, I would do a nice uh, Fontina even. Ooh. You could do, I like feta cheese. I like the acidity feta cheese brings. Greg does always say feta is better. <laughs> but it's not as good as Gouda. Oh, no. No. Gosh darn right. But any good, you know, melting cheese, you know, maybe you want to, like, really make it rich. I love that Buderkos. You are, you know, you were talk, talking to me about a, you dated a girl. Her last name was Buderkos, right? I mean, I like big Buderkos, <laughs> and, and I cannot lie. Right? They called her Big Booty Buderkos. <laughs> you're you're going to get me in trouble right so now. Good. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> ah, I make myself laugh. But Buderkos, it's ah. the secret to that lobster macaroni and cheese. Uh, sorry, it ta if If butter was a cheese that's what it is that's, it's absolutely delicious you know um but all of these cheeses are great also on your hamburger you like a good cheeseburger these cheeses work just as good a super melty cheese uh super creamy rich cheese works good on your beef john you got a good question for okay, folks out there i've got a couple good questions jody okay perfect people are asking about recipes like for fish uh, pork, where would they go to find good recipes? And also, Very good. double part question. A I double like part it. question. And the other one was, I lost it. Where was the question? Oh, that a boy, John. Here we go. All right, trade it up. Oh. It is weird being on the other uh, side. They wanted to know about, like, could we do this? Could you use a different meat for this? Could we put venison? Oh, in my this? gosh. Could we put. Absolutely. It linen. doesn't matter. I, personally, you could put, like, some chopped up meatloaf in there. Maybe you, got, maybe you got some brisket, some pulled pork. Ooh, ooh, maybe you've great. got a little bit of uh, some good sausage laying around. Lobster meat. Lobster. Ooh, you do oh, lobster queso. Lord. You could grab those rock shrimp and smoke off some rock, rock shrimp. Rock lobster. Have smoked rock okay. shrimp queso. You never know. Dang, John. What would you? What kind of meat would you put in there, guy? Big uh, guy. Man, I'm thinking sausage is what <laughs> immediately comes to mind. But some ribeye would be good. Ooh. You know? uh, there would, you go. Maybe you could do, maybe you could do like a Philly cheesesteak style oh. queso. Oh. Oh, oh, a God. pork belly queso? Ooh. Oh, God, y'all. Yeah, now I'm starting to get the creative juices flowing. Stop. I am not becoming a mime, just putting gloves on for no reason. <laughs> just just putting gloves on. Just so, Jim, careful. where would people go to find out about... Right, to answer your question, John, that you hit us with, you found the first one, but you couldn't find the second one, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what it, it was, that's the right. first one. <laughs> Guys, you can check out awesome recipes just like this at rectechgrills.com. Just hit that recipe tab. And then hit, hit your subsection and go to town. You can also download the RecTech Girls app uh, and access your recipes from there. You can also sign up for recipes and have them shoved and inserted into your inbox on an almost daily basis by daily. signing up at rectechgirls.com forward slash lunch break. You can't just go there and hit a button. You got to go there and fill out the form and check the boxes like we were talking about last week that's am we i do. right boys that's what we do that's what we do that's we check we boxes, do. Check all, boxes day. all day okay so anytime you sign up for uh, uh anything with rec tech make sure all those boxes are checked yeah, that's right. that way you get all the emails you're not excluded sure. uh, again uh the emails you know allows you uh to learn about new products uh events sales mm. discounts mm -hmm. promotions uh, ambassadors 
partners. I mean, you learn about so many different things just by signing up for the newsletter uh, as well as signing up for those recipes. So go to rectechgrills.com and do two things for me. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the homepage and put your email in where it says uh, sign up for the newsletter and hit the enter button. And then the second thing, uh, go to rectechgrills.com forward slash lunch break and sign up for those recipes. We insert them in your inbox for you. All you got to do is check it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Safely delivered. Safely delivered goodness gracious. I don't know what you're doing. I'm just standing here. I just like. got a camera on this piece of meat <laughs> right here. John, switch us over. Oh, yeah. She's doing the, the Texas jiggle, Two Shake jiggle. over there. Jiggle, jiggle, oh, jiggle. like Missy Elliott over there. Does uh, she work it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. let me she, work it. She works Put her it. thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Um, <laughs> but that's a good look at brisket, Greg. How'd we cook that son of a gun? We went hot and fast on the RTB 380 bullseye. We set that bad boy to 350 degrees. We uh, went for right at three hours. We wrapped it up because it was looking good. At that point, I didn't care what the temp was. It had great color to it. The bark was set. It looked amazing. Um, and we wrapped it up in a double layer of foil. Wow. Super tight. We put it back on the grill, that amazing RTB 3D bullseye, for about another two and a half hours. It was probing tender, uh, 205 and 203. Switch it it up, was John. looking dynamite, and uh, we let it rest for about an hour, and now we're ready to slice it. Shoot, yeah. Or are we? No, slice that mofo. Right now? Yeah, let me, slice, uh, I'm going to pull this over slice, here. Slice, slice, slice. But I don't want to. Uh, just don't squeeze it. No, just never. Okay, when you take the time it. to make a really good brisket, do not cut it in half and squeeze it. Greg, I'm going to squeeze it. No. I'm going to squeeze it every <laughs> time. I cut you. It's fulfilling for me. You're drying out your brisket. I need to join a group called Squeezers <laughs> Anonymous because I just want to take that thing and squeeze it. It's all not the like a cute chubby cheek on a kid, okay? Woo, son. I want to kiss it. Okay. So how, uh, how do you know how to slice this thing, Greg? Years and years of experience. Just kidding. But uh, So you can look at the flat, which is on the top here, and you can see the grain is running in this direction. You okay. just look for the lines. So you want to take your knife across those lines. That's it. You don't want to cut with the grain. You want to go against the grain. And you're going to go up about two-thirds and then change your direction? Yeah. Like I said, if I wanted to, I could probably even just remove that flat completely with my ninja hands because that fat is completely rendered. Hands, everyone. We could. I mean, do we want to do that or no? Yeah, sure. Show that. Do we want to cut it in half and give them the money shot first? Yes. Right now, or should we just wait? I think Man. there's not enough anticipation for us right. to cut I this brisket. Right, I don't think so either. Uh, I think Chef people, John, are there people in the comment section there are, wondering? There are people, all 486 yes. people watching well, guys, right you, now. You gotta hit, you gotta smash that share button in order for us to cut this brisket. Greg, just push that thing off to the side. I think we well, hold it off until there's at least over 700 here. people watching. Let's get over here to this, oh my God, it's melting over there. How does it melt so fast, Greg? Did, well, is it because you cut? The cheese ups in small uh, squares. That definitely helps, but we also had that fantastic convection cooking environment in there, and uh, that blower fan is just circulating that heat and smoke and flavor all around that Shoot, yeah. Dutch enamel cast iron pan. That's right. what I'm talking about. That really looks good. Sexy man. Smoked queso tonight for after hours, guys. If you didn't know, if you're just now joining us, after hours is where we cook a meal from start to finish, beginning to end, front to back, left to right. Uh, we answer your questions. Uh, we talk about uh, uh, Rectech shenanigans. Rectech shenanigans yes. and uh, trending topics, mm -hmm. of course. We have a couple of brewskis. Uh, we shoot the sh and uh, we have a good time. We shoot the bull. We're about, yeah, we shoot shooting the bull. That's right. Uh, we're about to close up shop here. The guys are finishing their last phone calls, customer service. Uh, shipping is already left for the day. Shoot, yeah. The, just the trucks are coming in, backing up, and loading up the full trailers, and they're getting out of here, and, you know, we're wrapping it up. And tonight, for but you guys. But we actually unwrapped it. Yeah, right, without a doubt. We did brisket earlier in the day for you so we could show it to you here. Shoot, yeah. And then we did smoke queso. John, you got a good question. Okay, we got a lot of questions out oh, here actually shoot, about yeah. Chef Craig. Can you explain to everybody the hot and fast process one more time? All right, so I like going hot and fast in my brisket a couple different reasons. The, <laughs> the main one. This is after hours, folks. The we, main one. We are going hot and fast always. I'm impatient. I don't want to wait 12 or 16 yeah, hours for I a cook. I just want to get it over with. Well, you got, you got to enjoy it a little bit. Uh, you know, take your time, uh, get the, a nice packer, ending. trim it. The ending, the money shot is what I'm all about. But we're going to delay that just a little bit. I'm all about it too, Jody. Hot and fast, you know, 300, 325, 350. What's going to happen, especially if you inject that brisket, that bad boy is going to plump up. 
all of that uh, liquid is going to start to, you know, steam up. That protein is going to plump, and then it's going to cook cool. and coagulate in that plumped state. Plumpness. So a lot more moisture retention, um, and it renders out a lot more fat. And if you're going low and slow, you're doing a 20-hour cook. Honestly, you are just drying that piece of meat out at some point. Right. Okay. Eventually. Eventually. Right. So for me, hot and fast, we were literally six hours on this brisket. You're not going to know it wasn't perfect. Right. Like a cooked low and slow. Smoke ring, flavor, texture, dynamite. Absolutely. It's going to be amazing. Um, it's the way we do our competition briskets. Correct. Um, and we did save all of that beef au jus. Yeah. And that's going to be that pan. So as we slice the brisket, we're going to lay it back in that au jus, and it's going to be like just next layer of flavors. Stacking them. Layering those flavors. What did you season it with, Chef Greg? All right. So we injected that with uh, Butcher's Barbecue Prime Injection and Butcher's out, Barbecue boys. Prime Dust. We put a little bit of our Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. Again, it's got that horseradish, the Worcestershire powder in there. Super tasty. Celery salt. We put a little bit of that Boar's Night Out White Lightning on the top. Mm. And then we did... Um, Shout out Eric and Alan. We did that brisket magic over here and that Ben's Hever Dust over here. Whoa. And if you guys are looking for... Right. Oh. You did a two-flavor brisket, Greg? Shoot, yeah. <laughs> because Shoot, they sure. couldn't make up their minds. I figured we'd appease everybody. Whoa. But if you guys want to check out alternative uh, rubs for different things, check out our good friends at AtlantaBBQStore.com. Oh, yeah, those guys do You it can up. use that discount code RECTECH10. Get 10% off your order. Um, yeah, good stuff. Absolutely. I'm going to stir this. Now, guys, don't worry if that queso gets a little bit of brownness on the top. That's just the smoke. So just stir it in there. Stir oh, that smoke man. flavor in there. That's going to be so good. Oh, man. Jody and Chef Greg, they are in the comment section. They're talking about cook the brisket. Cut that brisket. Okay, okay. How many people are watching? Joe? 502. Wow, we're getting we need all 500 of you guys just to smash that share button and put brisket in all caps up there when you share it. Hashtag brisket. Hashtag. Rachel Fairburn wants a shout out from the boys. Boys. Hey, Rachel Fairburn. How you doing, girl? Rachel, make sure you smash that share oh, button Rachel. and comment hashtag we brisket. Love you. We love you, Rachel. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, your beautiful daughter isn't driving you too crazy out there. But, uh, Mwah. Shout out Rachel Fairburn. Apparently, you know Rachel. I know Rachel. She's a good friend of mine. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, it's the same Rachel Fairburn. I hope so, too. Right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Did you date her in high school? No, no, actually, no. Fortunately, okay. not. Did did not, you know, Rachel shot me down. Oh, All right. I didn't know ladies did shoot you down. I'm, I'm telling you. Got shot down a lot, man. Stunner I'm telling you. All right, let's get off, this, Harlem, let's get off this subject. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, so God. we'll go ahead and slice this brisket or we right, wait a little bit. Switch it over, Greg. Switch it over. And again, this is so tender. We'll just do that one-handed slice. Visit JapaneseChefKnife.com because I know you guys are wondering, where did Greg get that knife? That's right. You know it. Oh, yeah. Now, about traditionally, Greg, about how wide do you want to slice that brisket for a perfect brisket enjoyment? Pencil thick. Oh. Pencil thin. Okay. Hey, hey, me and John know a little thing about pencil thick, don't we, John? Whoa. Huh? What? Whoa, what are you talking whoa. about? What are you but talking? the weight what? of the knife oh, yeah. oh, okay. is oh, okay. doing ah. all of the work. And you can see there's a fantastic smoke ring. Absolutely, guys. Uh, I'm just, holding that, some, just holding that brisket nice and still. Black nitrile gloves on here. I'm going to show you guys. Get all up and close and personal with you. That one look good? Oh, yeah. Shoot, yeah. Shoot, yeah. You guys, look at that beautifulness that Chef Greg... They're not really believing that that big oh, old brisket wow. fit on that bullseye. Go Absolutely. ahead and check out our stories. Uh, Jody got some great oh, video... Oh, 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 so oh, tender. Oh, oh. Five second rule. That's what you get for playing I with your meat. It. We're putting it in that old jus. That and this was, jus again, thing. not a fancy brisket. It was just, just a run-of-the-mill USDA right. choice brisket. Right, right. But now, we do have some friends out there that make some fancy briskets. Shoot, yeah. Uh, we yeah. encourage you to visit cowsteaks.com to get one of the best American wag Wagyu briskets I've ever tasted in my life. Uh, Castle Cattle Company to get some of the best Japanese Wagyu that you have ever had domestically. Call that blue collar Wagyu, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Colorado Craft Beef is another good one. Another one of our friends that we like. Man, that brisket, I'd risk it for that brisket. I'd risk it for that brisket you know too, what I'm Jody. Saying? But you can see that that fat in between. This is a great right. picture here. Check this yep, out. Check it out, guys. So this is a beautiful slice of brisket. Gorgeous. You can see that fat. So this is gonna be that flat, that leaner meat. This is gonna be the point, that fattier. Make the old Look burn at that, ends out of it. That fat right there, completely rendered out. 
again, that is a beautiful. If it'll dance right there, it'll eat. If you can go ahead and twist it and it doesn't fall apart, right. That is a perfectly cooked brisket. And this ain't fancy, people. USDA choice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Shoot uh, you. Hot Jack. and fast. Top fan Jack asked, he said, did that brisket, did you do it in a pan or directly on the grates? Uh, we put a pan below the uh, the grates just to uh, There's, there's help. a couple different reasons why we put yep. the pan under there for sure. You we know, wanted we, to create a more indirect environment on that RTB380. Hey, hey, Ray yeah. Cars is in the comments. What's up, What's Ray, up, Ray? Ray Cars? Smash that share button, Ray. Give us a like. Give us a love. That's how you look at this figure brisket. Figure out how much to pay us, Ray. Okay, look right here. This brisket is dancing. It's perfectly good, perfectly sliced. And Look Ray at the was actually in the comment section when you were trimming that bad boy up. Yeah, too. along with about fifteen hundred other people watching. Shoot, That's yeah, right. we're making history the other day. Made I'm history. Right. I'm proud of you, boys. Y'all did it. Most watched show on the internet ever. That's right. Ever. We've got more collective views <laughs> than anyone that does anything live. On Facebook. That's what I Can heard. Can you guys of. believe that? You want to know why? God, give that a like. Give that a love. You want to know why? Why is that, Greg? Because ain't no game. That's right. This because it's game set match. You and know? everybody else is playing for second. Gosh darn right. Why? Because we play for keeps. <laughs> we <laughs> have that on our shirt, don't we? We, we got we got some of that new race swag. Yeah. Race swag. Race swag. Oh, that new race there. swag coming <laughs> out. That's right. That's that's a thing. That's what camera be a word. we on, John? This one right, right there. Look I at think, that brisket. Right? Yes. I'm not squeezing. I don't simply, squeeze it. No. Hold it close to that camera, Greg, so those people can see that. They don't believe it's got a smoke <laughs> ring. Look at that. There you go, Greg. Goodness gracious. Look at Good. that. I'm Googling not squeezing that. That juice is literally just... What's that oh, one? Man. How's that one TikTok go? Oh, look at that. That's some booty meats, y'all. That's some grade <laughs> A USDA booty meats. But give us a like. Give us a love, guys. We're making smoke queso, and we're slicing brisket. The two things that you absolutely love and want to see out of us. So uh, smash that share button. Again, with the queso, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You can use whatever cheese that you like, okay? Just cut it in small cubes. Uh, you can use uh, Rotel. You can use salsa, which we use tonight. You can use pico de gallo. Yeah, you can do it fresh. You can do roasted vegetables. You can do smoked veggies. Mm -hmm. Poblano peppers. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? You can do all of that stuff, okay? Do we want to do some burn ends in there? Shoot, yeah. You can do chorizo like we did. You can do sausage. Yep. Ground sausage. Ground Delicious. beef. Man, I'm a ground beef dude. You are. I love ground beef. I would probably, I would rather do ground beef in this on mine. Uh, what about uh, shrimp? Oh, John. That's just wrong that it's you just, even. I just, I, you'd have to shred the shrimp though. Uh, you know what I'm okay. saying? You so so you can be so able to get a, a bite of shrimp in every I one like of them. That. You yes. know? But I love your, I love your idea. I love that. All right, you want to try a nice burn? Look how squishy. Uh, yeah, Jerry, they want you guys to try some. That's this is that, this is that burn in. Look how squishy that too. is. Okay. Okay. Perfectly rendered, but look at the squish. Okay. That's what you want, right there. Cheers, buddy. It's pretty. Thank you, Greg. Oh, wow. mm. Got to smash that share button. Give mm -hmm. us a like. Give us a love. Wow. Uh, that's hot, fun. Woo! Wow. Guys, that is delicious. Wow. And again, with that queso, guys. Uh, what were you want in there? Oh, wow. In that queso. Ooh. Oh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the top may turn brown a little bit. That's just because of that smoke uh, and all of that good flavor. Shoot, so just yeah. mix that in. Uh, Make sure you mix it, you know, pretty good constantly. That way you get a good marriage and a good blend of all of that good stuff in there. Now, Greg, did you put any of that Ron Screaming Pig Rub in here? Not yet. I figured we would, uh, you know, just drill up some anticipation for oh, uh, the people. Oh, okay, then. But uh, that would be my go-to. Uh, but you seasoned uh, the brisket with the Dirty Girl and that uh, White Lightning, as well as some of that La Barbacoa, right? You know it. No, we actually didn't use La Barbacoa. Sorry. It was the Brisket Magic right, that's and right. the... Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. So we got a lot of seasoning, a lot of flavors going on in this son of a gun right Shoot now, Shoot, yeah. It's going to be you. really, really good. And like five minutes, we're eating queso. Shoot, yeah. Chef Greg, Top yeah, Fan Mark Smith asked, that's good. Uh, why so not good. burnt ends from the point? He's never sliced a point before. Um, I love sliced brisket point. Are you kidding me? Right. Lots of fat. Right. Um, and I sliced up probably two thirds of it, and then I uh, cubed up the rest and went that uh, into the uh, queso. Yep. But traditionally, slices, <clears throat> man, 
I'm gonna enjoy a little drink of this bit burger. I got a little something in my throat. Yeah, get it. Got a little something. Jody. Greg has something in his throat as well. <laughs> but uh, but traditionally, but traditionally, the the burn ends do come from the point, and we did. We sliced up. But I wanted to show you how tender and uniform that brisket <clears throat> was. This brisket was cooked in six hours. We had what four meetings today? Oof. We filmed. Uh, well, actually, I didn't, but we filmed five as a team, five videos today. John. So the uh, the RTB 3D bullseye was kind of like that redheaded stepchild on the deck over there, just way over there. It was just by, itself. by itself. No one paid attention to it. <laughs> Why? Because we've done it like a thousand times. Chef John checked in on it for me at about the two and a half hour mark and gave me the text, said, hey, we're good to go. I'll let it go another half an hour, get a little bit more dark. Right. And then we wrapped it up. Jody it got pretty. pictures of it. it and if you don't believe us, did you already put that on Instagram? I didn't. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, BBQ Dad Jody, J-O-D-Y. I'll have that all up in my stories, and you guys can can like that, love it, and want some more of it. But it definitely fit on that RTB 380 bullseye. Um, we put that pan up underneath. You'll see it in the pictures. But under six hours, this was perfect. Right. We let it rest. You don't have to let it rest for hours. Beautiful. If you want to keep it warm, you can put it in a cooler. I just put it on the counter for 45 minutes, and we sliced it for you guys. And you can see there is a beautiful, even, consistent smoke ring all across that Absolutely. piece of meat. And that beautiful bark, you know, uh, uh, good seasoning as well as spraying it with some of that spray butter on the outside. It helps that bark color up and look really nice for you. Shoot, yeah. John, you got a good question from some yep. of those folks out there in yep. Facebook top, land. Top fan Dominique asks, Woo. after you wrap, what temp do you cook the brisket at? I kept it at 350, okay? Um, and I got my buddy, well, Mr. Well, two, uh, two internal. What about internal? <sighs> about I took Jody's thermopen. <laughs> okay, we'll get that back. It's okay. You can borrow it, buddy. We took Jody's thermopin and a uh, probe tender. We were uh, 203 in the flat and 205 in the uh, point. And we probably let that... Wait, wait. You were at two different temperatures yeah. on that brisket? What are you talking about, Greg? You, and you when said we it cooked evenly, but you, but you said it had two separate different temperatures. Can Absolutely. There's that? more fat in that point, so it needs to go to a higher internal to get tender. And when we... Uh, fabricated this brisket yesterday and trimmed it, you have to go back to yesterday's lunch break to right. watch. We uh, got pretty creative and we made that brisket very aerodynamic. We removed a lot of the fat that wasn't going to provide anything to the brisket. This is like the best brisket ever, okay? Right. We took a little bit steps in the beginning to ensure that that was the case. Um, and we exposed a little bit more of that point meat and took out some of that pocket fat to make it cook a little bit more efficient. If I oh. left it in okay. to get the, the internal temp I needed to make that point tender, I might have overcooked that flat. I didn't want to do that. Why? Because it probably wouldn't look very good on camera when I slice a brisket and, and it's Boy, not you right. Ain't lying. Ain't nothing you uglier know, than old dried I, up brisket on camera. I, I can't get mistakes on live TV. So a little insurance. <laughs> that is so We funny. cut that out. We made sure it was perfect. Okay, each and every time. Every brisket that we've ever cut on live except for maybe one i don't remember that one well that is super early without you know it wasn't you greg it was totally me on that one i probably screwed it up but uh hey, but man, i like what? i like hot and fast i think it gives you great flavor great texture to the meat um and it gets done faster <laughs> but look i mean look you gave you him a close-up look sure. at how even and consistent that smoke ring it's is gorgeous, and brother. some people are like oh i want more smoke the okay. flavor in this brisket is dynamite. Nobody is going to complain about that. And you're going to get that smoke ring. It's a reaction um, of that argument. nitrogen dioxide being released of the burning of the pellets. You're burning pellets and fuel that entire cook. It's going to react with the myoglobin in the protein and get red. That's what it is. Right. Chef John, what you got, buddy? I got two questions for you guys. We have a newbie out there, Karen Johnson. Hey, Karen. How says, you doing? She wants to know what's the difference between the point and the flat. All right, so there are Very two muscles that make up a brisket, okay? And they kind of lay like that. The flat is going to be your leaner piece of meat, and then on one uh, towards the, the front of that brisket is going to be the point. It's more of a fatty piece of meat. Um, and then that is the muscle, the pectoral muscle of the cow. So when the cow goes to stand up, it's that muscle that pushes the cow off of the ground. Um, it is the, I'll say it's like the gold standard of barbecue. Mm -hmm. If you cook a brisket, you have like climbed Mount Everest. Um, but it's one of, I'll say it's more challenging to cook. If you just follow a couple principles, right. you can cook a brisket better than this at your house. Hands down. Don't because you're going to buy a prime brisket. I just picked up a Wamby Pamby Choice brisket. Nine times out of ten, we're going to get the, the call or email from somebody that's overthinking it. Oh, what should I do? Uh, how should I do it? Man, just follow the recipes that we have available to you, and you will not fail. They are tried and true. Me, I like to throw that piece of meat on there and forget about it. I don't overthink it. It's a dumb piece, just a big old dumb piece of meat. 
uh, and you don't want it to beat you. You say donkey meat? <laughs> we all know what that means. No, um, but uh, but don't ever think it, guys. A lot of folks, and again, it's okay to have two separate temperatures in the point in the flat, just as long as that thing is probe tender Correct. all the way through. It should feel like there's nothing in the foil. You put that that uh, instant read thermometer. You can right. use a wooden skewer. Very little resistance. Right, right. John, you got another good question. They're killing it right they now. They are. Randy likes to know what's the difference, or how does the heifer dust compare to the uh, brisket magic? All right, so the brisket magic is gonna have a little bit more pepper uh, bite to it. The heifer dust is going to be more well-rounded. So that garlic, that onion, that paprika, that chili powder. Okay. Uh, the brisket magic has a little bit more punch to it because there's a, a little more spice. I don't know. John's got a good one over there. Jody, guess who's in the comment section and watching? Miss Becky King Flanagan. Hey, babe. Welcome. It's been a <laughs> while. We've been talking about you every episode, and we've <laughs> been waiting on you to come in. Totally. That is awesome. Totally true. I love you, sweetheart. Make sure you smash that share button, honey, and give <laughs> us a like. Give us a love. We really do appreciate I it. I think everybody in the comment section please, should please. hashtag grace, Becky Rocks. Grace the comment section with a comment. We would love that. Thank you so much for watching, honey. That means the world to me. She's probably at home working her butt off yeah, with probably. those two boy, those two crazy boys of mine. No, they're probably being good right now, Jody. They're yeah, because they're with really her. <laughs> you get that, too? Max is probably sleeping like a baby. John Dillon's <laughs> probably listening. No, never. Okay, again, what right, kind of cheese do that. we use? Uh, top fan Benson would like to know. All right, we used Vincent white American. We used uh, sharp Ow. cheddar. I know that's hot. We used, what else we put in there? Sharp cheddar, uh, that white American. You also, uh, we also put that chorizo. Uh, we put two types of peppers. One, baby bell. Two, uh, small jalapenos. Oh, excuse me, a whole onion. Uh, we did a whole small can of cream of mushroom soup. What's, uh, what's uh, J John? You're over there laughing. It's we're, they're just having a good time over here. Ray said, uh, "Oh hashtag God, hashtag Becky Rock." Get out of here, Ray! <laughs> Don't encourage her. Oh my gosh! And shout out to the Mission folks here in Augusta, Georgia, for dropping off these delicious Mission chips so yeah, and then Mission Street tacos. They know. What's up? Ooh, they know yeah. what we like over look, here. Hold on, look at this just real quick. Look oh my God, Becky, just check out all the love <laughs> down in the comments. <laughs> Y'all quit encouraging my wife. God. But there's she's, there's she's, no I'm better come way. Home and she's gonna be like, I'm the star. Mm -hmm. I need to be on that That's show. That's right. So I I just couldn't help it. I we didn't rehearse this. No. <laughs> this right. was a complete. Um, Might as well do it. Wow, That's, That's so what good. they want us to do. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Oh the hot. That so People in the comment section have gone crazy. Mm. The only thing they're saying now is hashtag Becky Rocks. Oh, get out of here. Y'all quit. <laughs> That's it. That's all they're Stop. saying. Stop. We going to send them a, Be a Becky Rocks t-shirt? Yeah. No, pump the brakes. <laughs> Patrick Donovan, can we go ahead and get those t-shirts made up? I would like to have seen some bacon in this. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little You're bacon, a little bit more it. texture. Mm -hmm. um, but besides that, God almighty, it's good. That brisket is delicious. Oh, pork belly. That the was jalapeno. Oh, mm -hmm. Right? Those jalapenos came out of our garden, too. That Ron Screaming Pig Rub really, really did pack a punch in there, too. Y'all killed it. It's so Ray delicious. left a little early today. He might be in the pool. He's, He's in gotta the comment section, it. though. He is. That son of a gun. Mm. What's up? Look at him. Queso's ready. Man, what a great episode. He's not done yet. You know um, Bossman Ben's coming back. Bossman Ben's coming back because he's a queso fanatic. All right, Mr. Ben. Great episode. But again, guys, if you walk away with anything from this episode, I want you to walk away from this. The trending recipe that you see now on the internet, we invented three years ago, and we called it Dirty Queso. That's right. Okay? It's called Smoked Queso now, and, uh, and it's going mad, crazy, uh, viral on the internet. And I just want y'all to know it. It came originally from here, and somebody copied us. Hold I on, no. If you're gonna do it, Ben, you gotta do it right. Yeah, you got. Yeah, bro, get, you gotta do it get right. Get in here, bro. Do it right. Get in there, bro. Oh, bro, yeah. get in there, bro. Bro, Miss Ben. Miss Ben. Mm. Queso fanatic, cheese fanatic, brisket fanatic, be lover of beer, Taco briskets, fanatic. barbecue in yeah. America. We cooked yeah. that brisket in six hours. Oh, every day. Yeah. That's good. You we should like see that. how many people are smashing that share button right now, Ben. All He's right here. Nineteen of them out Cheese there watching. Cheese and crackers. That's how we get paid. If y'all didn't know that, smash that share button. That's good. It's good to get paid by shares, especially when you got friends out there in the comment section. I was Am talking I right, about the, uh, the case. Smash it. 
John, any good questions out there? I know there's a lot of folks out there wondering. Uh, well, we have uh, Julie says that she did not use the soup. She used cream cheese instead and thinned it out with Ooh. a little bit of milk. She I said, like that. Bada boom, bada bing. I like that. Very good suggestion, Julie. Very good suggestion. Um, but that cream of mushroom, man, just adds uh, that savoriness, mm -hmm. that extra creaminess mm -hmm. to it. Uh, that the cream uh, cheese would have been delicious. It would have added a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, and then milk, of course, if you just wanted to add straight milk, you can oh, do that so too. Good. That's how we used to do it at Locos back in the day. People are wondering about your dad joke too, Jerry. I've had we had a few comments. You, they said that you haven't said anything yet. Okay, sorry. All right. Well, I do. I, you know, I, I found one this morning that I really liked. When you become a parent, John. Yes. What superpower do you acquire? Oh, I don't know, Jody. What superpower do you acquire? Supervision. Hey! -o! Hey! -o! <laughs> that was a good one. That you like that, America? One. Smash that share button. But uh, <laughs> we're gonna give away some T-shirts. Mm -hmm. We've got some after hour t-shirts. Is that what we're doing, John? Specifically after hours or are we doing the whole? Specifically after hours, I Specifically think, right? after hours. We got five after hours t-shirts to give away. That's right. None of us have one on right now to show you. No <laughs> promote. I don't or even anything. I don't even have one of those. I need to get mine before we get you rid of them. You can't even buy it, guys. Nope. You can't buy these shirts. Hashtag we're not on the away. website. We're just giving them away, hashtag. Um, so, so good. we want to make it really simple for you. Uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right. John, what did you guys do for your show? Uh, just <laughs> hashtags. That's all we, we <laughs> yeah. we Hashtag did. Chef John's the greatest. Chef we are, John's the greatest. Chef Greg and myself are not going to uh, belittle ourselves nope. to something <laughs> like that. Okay. Um, but we do want it to be super, super easy. Smash that share button. That's right, guys. So all you have to do. No. What? The <laughs> No, Ben, I wanted to hit the share button. <laughs> Gosh, darn it. All right, Uncle, uh, Uncle Ben. What's up, Ben? Uncle Ben. Uncle <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Uncle Ben wants everybody to put, if you want to win yourself a Rectech After Hours t-shirt, hashtag, hashtag, smash that button. Smash that share button. Smash that share button. Hashtag smash that share button in the comment section down below. Shoot you. And we will pick five of you randomly, very oh. randomly. Uh, no credit for multiple entries. That's right. Nope. That's Five right. random folks. We will DM you and we will... Uh, I think he's getting out the laptop to do it now. We will announce the winners Ooh. next Wednesday. That's right. Uh, something's happening right here. I'm not Ben's sure what... Ben's pulling out. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. One shirt's going to have 100 bucks Whoa. 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 What? What? Are wow. You sure? What? Oh my God, and we're going to send a hundred dollars away. <laughs> that must have been Is some... Is that legal? Can we put that in the mail? <laughs> Are we going to go to jail? That must have been some amazing queso. Whoa. And brisket. Y'all, y'all, besides Lord. hitting... I uh, believe this is a first. The sh this is, we've, we've never, never put sent we've never put out. hard cash. We have sent fortune cookies, <laughs> half eaten donuts. We have had we have sent half eaten donuts to people before. Sweaty hats. That yeah. is true. Used t-shirts. That's right. Yes. But we have never sent cold, hard currency. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do to register to win, most importantly, this, and then the cheap T-shirt that's coming with it. Uh, you could probably the sell the T-shirt for a hundo. Right. I'm just saying. Hashtag smash that share button, says Uncle Ben. Dude, they're already in there smashing Can I keep that this one and then we just another one? That one's not perfect. You maybe, you know. There I'll just go. keep it right here for right now. Keep it safe. Keep it warm. Ben, Ben, uh, Ben said I could keep the money for the hot dog eating contest all day, and I did, and I gave it out. You really, did. you did really. Thank good. you, Uncle Ben. Yeah. I Thank did a good you. job Thank on that, sir. Ben. Thank wow. you. I'm gonna pull it out again. There's hundred dollars on the line. Hundred dollar bill, and it's real. So Shut five T-shirts. One's getting the nobody, John. <laughs> nobody does this, and this is real. I thought it would be fake. It's not Monopoly money. Cheese and crackers. I'll keep this good and safe. Ray said, Becky, okay, let's stick Becky, to put hashtag smash that share button <laughs> in the comment section. Hey, uh, <laughs> RecTech employees and RecTech employees affiliates and family right. members are not, not eligible for giveaways. Correct. There is some fine print in the giveaway. <laughs> Patrick Donovan, do not put hashtag smash that he share He can't button. win your own shirt. You can't win your own shirt, Yeah, sir. you can't do it, Patrick. Uh, but thank you to Brave Friend Apparel. Ray said, keep it to $5.
No, no, he said keep it at five. Five shirts. Five yeah. shirts. Yeah. <laughs> we're not doing $500. No, we're not going to do $500 right back. Uh, but we did want to uh, jump off with a bang because we are giving away these shirts and we want everybody to know about it. Yeah. So, John, you gave away four. Yeah. And uh, we're doing five. We may, you know, we may do one on um, Funday Friday, and then we may add it to the yeah. board as well. And I may give away a couple on uh, back. I mean, I'll mix it up. Monday. Mix it up I mean, Monday. No, mix wait, it up munchies. You about. said it. it up you said mix what it up like munchies. Late, Late night, night munchies. munchies. Mm. Which is moving to Instagram very soon. It is. That's right. We'll be moving over to Instagram. I'm super excited about that. But speaking that. of moving shows, tomorrow is lunch break. Yeah, mm. you got to jump over to the YouTube. Rec Tech Grills YouTube channel. That's right. We'll be going you got to make sure you ring that bell and subscribe because we're going live for the oh. first time ever, ever on YouTube tomorrow. Ever. And we got a big show. Huge. <laughs> we're cooking on a big grill. Cooking big things. And we're doing huge things. Ray's out here in the comment section. Is Just he going getting, crazy? He's getting everybody mixed up. He said, he said, only give a hundred dollars. He said, that's okay. <laughs> he said, but we could give 20 shirts. We don't and have no, that many. No, we, don't we don't have, have, have that many. many. He said, no, no, no. Oh, no, limited no, no, no. edition. No. Okay, Let's limited just to make edition. it clear, just to make it clear, we are giving away five shirts, and one, uh, one of those five will include the this hundo. sweaty, wet. Who? Hundred dollar real one hundred dollar crisp. Could hundo. we smoke a hundred dollars? I, I don't know. I'm by, I'm gonna when Becky Wait. wins it. I'm gonna smoke it at the Ray at the bar. Twenty shirts. No Ray, we don't have we that don't many. have that many look, limited look, look edition. Look in the comment section. Limited edition. John, twenty shirts. Ray, put put, put it in there again. <laughs> 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 if you really mean it, or is somebody overtaken no. your Facebook page? He yeah, might have got hacked. We, we need to know if that's the real you, we Ray, really, we'll give away all our yeah, shirts. Yeah, we'll give away all the shirts, Ray. All you have to do is say so. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll, more. we'll have to get more printed. Patrick Donovan's, <laughs> he's like happy as a lark yeah, out there. Like, give away 30. Right. Give right. away 40. <laughs> um, but guys, we had a great show today. After Hours presented by Rec Tech. We do this every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern yeah. Standard. We do it live here on Facebook. We also put it up on YouTube. So if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you ring that bell and watch the next video. We've got a lot of great content coming for you, uh, especially with Ray and Stevie coming back. Shoot, yeah. We're going to do uh, more adventures when we're able to go out yeah, and about. Man. Um, Excited about that. Oh, man, I'm talking the adventures. Mamba Bound. we got a, we got a trip planned Mamba next Bell, year. Baby. i got a I got a trip planned next year, but can't tell you about that yet. Can't tell. I can about tell you yet. about it. I can't tell them about yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Might be the longest road trip yet. Oh, great. Ooh, Longer than eight hours? <laughs> Fourteen and a half. <laughs> Woo wee! A thousand, a thousand and five miles. Yeah, Ray said yes. Twenty, yes, twenty, yes, twenty, yes, twenty. Uh, All right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend himself. He was yeah. wearing an apron with it on the on it today. That Ray was Carr's the co-founder. You guys know him as Uncle Ray. Uh, he is in the comment section right now, blowing it up, saying yes 20 <laughs> about 100 times. We get it, sir. We get it. We love you. We thank you. We are giving away 20 <laughs> After Hours branded t-shirts. You can't buy these guys. But only one of them will have yeah. the crisp, Chris, show them, Jody. sweaty. I, I don't oh, know no. where it's at anymore. Oh, no, Jody. Okay, there it is. Chris. Seasoned. We're giving away a hundred dollar bill in a t-shirt today. I'm excited. Oh Me man. Too. We need to we need to put these in grills. Yes. That'd be a fantastic idea. You know? That'd be great. Be like man. the Willy Wonka golden ticket. It would yeah, be like true. the golden ticket. Maybe we need to put like a golden ticket to an academy ticket for twenty twenty one in a grill. Now mm. you're talking. Mm. But if you want to win a hundred dollars, just push. Put hashtag smash that share button in the comment sure. section down below. Uh, and smash the share button. Yeah, help us out. But Nonetheless, Shoot, yeah. right? Between Man. the $100 bill and Becky being in the comment section, what a it great is show. a great and show. And we did smoke queso. Yes. We sliced brisket for the folks. The smoke queso is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We did it in a Dutch oven. You might want to do it in a half pan, aluminum pan. That way you can just throw it away. You can do it in anything. It. You can do it in anything. Greg, give us the rundown one more time before we leave. All right, so we took uh, two and a half pounds of white American cheese. We took one pound of sharp cheddar cheese cut it up real fine we did an onion we did two jalapenos from our garden a small baby bell pepper because that's the only thing that was blooming just yet <laughs> it was a little baby was baby, a baby little bell pepper. baby uh, pepper. one onion we used 14 ounces of your favorite salsa and you can make your own if you want yeah. we also added a can of condensed cream of mushroom soup but you could add cream of jalapeno cream of chicken you could add cream some milk celery. if you want it doesn't matter it's just gonna cream give some good body to that we had uh, cream one wheat. pound of cooked chorizo <laughs> we probably put in two pounds of the chopped 
burn ends from this beautiful brisket oh, yeah. that we cooked in six hours at 350 degrees Shout on out the, the RTB bullseye. 380 bullseye. Mm, available and soon. Again, that was an 18 to 20 pound brisket. It was right. a big mamma jam and it, it fit in there just fine. If fit you want to see pictures fine. of this brisket cooking, make sure you follow uh, Barbecue follow Dad him. Jody. And follow John. And Rectech. And we'll go ahead and uh, post those pictures here shortly because we haven't done it yet. We had a busy day today. Lots Super of busy. We had a lot of stuff going on today. A Met a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. The Girl Scouts of America were in here today. Oh, the Girl Scouts. Were they did here? they bring that us Thin Mints? Awesome. We, well, I did learn something today, boys. What? They make a specific cookie here at the Keebler factory in Augusta, Georgia, yeah. that they distribute throughout the whole United States. What cookie that is that? One? I didn't know, like a lemon something. Uh, Ooh, I like the lemon ones. I don't like the lemon ones. I like the Tagalogs. All oh, right, well, you eat the Tagalogs. I'll eat the lemons. Samoas. It's okay. Yeah, like thin the mints. Oh, yeah, Woo, thin mints. Uh, but have you noticed, that though? Bailey's Irish cream. Have you noticed? There's always seemed to be, like, one less cookie in the package every year. Oh, without That's a doubt. They well, they're entrepreneurs. They're entrepreneurs. They know. 25 cents more a box, one less cookie. They know what's up. Their business women is even hitting the Business ladies. Business ladies, I'm telling you. Um, but we did smoke queso, we sliced up some brisket, we had a good time, we answered your questions, and that is what After Hours is all about, ladies and gentlemen. We're living our best Rec Tech lifestyles yeah, out here, are. and we want you to. Go, make sure you go to RecTechGrills.com and check out what we got to offer because it's a lot of amazing stuff. If you want to learn about new products, when products are being released, uh, swag, uh, behind the scenes access, recipes, make sure you sign up for the newsletter at RecTechGrills.com. Just scroll all the way down to the bottom. Put your email in where it says sign up for the newsletter. Letter. Also, sign up to get this recipe inserted into your inbox. Go to rectechgirls.com forward slash lunch break, and we will just shove these things mm. in your inbox mm. periodically. Okay. You ain't even got to ask for them. Make mm -hmm. sure all those boxes are checked. Mm -hmm. Make sure you fill out all that information. Uh, we're giving away an RT700. Make sure you watch last week's Fun Day Friday episode. It was a good one. Yeah. It was Hot awesome. dog eating contest. Choo choo. That was a good i had a good time that I was too. a great that was a, was that, a lot of fun. that was a great day at work it really was it was a fun day friday yeah, sure enough, for the books if you didn't watch it you you really missed out so we encourage you to go back and watch that episode cuz you could win yourself an RT700 yeah. or you could live the rectech lifestyle because you already own an RT700 and give it to one of your friends and family that is not a part of the rectech right. family and ray said if you wanted to you can pay up a little more and get that wild side if you do have an RT700 what? and you win the RT700 i think that's a pretty that's good upgrade pretty awesome. absolutely Absolutely. But guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, make sure you smash that share button. Make sure you put hashtag smash that share button in the comment section down below for your chance to win this $100 bill or one of 20, one of 19 shirts. Yes. That's right. Make sure you follow us on all social media bills. because you never know when we're going live. It could be Instagram. It could be YouTube. It could be Facebook. It could be TikTok. Bill. It could be anything. A freaking $100 bill, y'all. Dollar, dollar wallet. bills, y'all. Cheese and crackers, it's real. You hold it up to the light, you can see the lines. I mean, look at that. It's crisp. It's amazing. Clean. Yeah. It smells it's like about barbecue. as big as Greg. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, uh, God bless you. Oh God. God nope, bless the United States of America. And we'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do 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 hundred dollar bill. Do, 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 do. What's up everybody? John do, do, do. Murr, Joshua Rick Gaffer, Angela Speck, and Cody Allison, Doug Ramstad. A.A. Ron Joe, Justin Pass, Jesse Britt, you get my apron, go to my Instagram.